Hello, friends. So, what's up, everybody? Um, today I'm going to be probably making myself look like a complete fool. But, like, I don't wear makeup, and we're about to find out why today. So, basically, I've been watching a bunch of YouTube videos the past couple weeks. Watching people do their makeup, and, like, it always looks so pretty. They look amazing afterwards, and... I feel like since I'm a graphic artist, it shouldn't be that hard for me, right? Well, we're gonna find out today. So I'm just gonna go off the top of my head and try to remember what people did in all those videos I watched, and I guess we will see what happens. Okay, so the first step that I always see all of these people, these makeup gurus doing is moisturizing and priming their face. Hold on, my moisturizer thing is in there. I'm gonna be moisturizing my face with this Twyla True Renewal Oil. Thank Me Later Face Primer. I like when they tell me exactly what this stuff is. So, there's no instructions. Right. Okay, so if I get any of these steps wrong, please somebody tell me in the comments or text me or Snapchat me or whatever and tell me the right way I was actually supposed to put this stuff in order because we'll be lucky if I get the names right to all this stuff. Next, I think we said is foundation. And I've never put this on my face before. It's never been opened. So... This is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Long Wear Foundation. Most of the people I see have like this stick that they put on their face, like a like a mascara brush type of thing that would like slide on their face, but I guess we'll just use this. Oh, I got a beauty blender and I'm, I wet it already, so it's like soft. And I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand, I guess. Just gonna take some and I'm kind of scared to do this, like really scared, okay. Is that a good match, y'all? I hope so. I don't really know, like. People put the concealer in different places. I'm doing because I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, so again, super light bottle. People do this in videos. And um, does this one come off like other? No. Oh, you have to twist this one. <gasps> this is the stick thing I was telling y'all about. So like, I guess I just like put it on. I know people do it like under their eyes. Oh my God. Something like that. Looking like how to play baseball or something. And then people do a little bit on their nose. Uh oh, people do some right here. Do I look any different yet, y'all? Uh, the step that comes next is... Uh... Like, contouring, I guess? Okay, so all I found in here was this... Contour de Force Mini Bronzer. Number 2 Woody Wonder, made by Sugar. It's... Looks like this when you open it. It's brown like me. Uh -huh, I'm so funny. Make myself laugh. Um. Oh god, now we have to use a brush. I guess we'll just use this one. I don't really call it a crown brush. It doesn't have a number or anything. 
So people usually just like dip in here and then they do the thing to get the excess off, but I don't really get that because like aren't you supposed to put it on your face? Bronzer, I guess, goes like on your cheekbone, like from the top of your ear or something. Oh, well, this is dark. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's like really dark and it's really like weird. But I don't want to use a lot. I really don't want to look like a clown at the end of this, y'all, but I know I'm going to. Know how much of this stuff I'm supposed to put on so I just keep like going over it and dipping it and I think you want like it to like I don't even know honestly I'm just doing what I saw on the videos I got some dirty cheeks now <laughs> dirty cheeks <laughs> I'm sorry okay y'all so I got some dirty cheeks now and then next eyeshadow oh, no, no no eyebrows do you do eyebrows before you do eyeshadow I don't really do my eyebrows. Oh well. Wet and Wild Retractable Brow Pencil. So I guess we're gonna do my brows today. And I guess I'm just gonna make them look darker. I don't really know. We'll see what happens. So you're supposed to use like light strokes, like light strokes and like draw a line underneath. Oh my God, that's so dark. I've never done this in my eyebrow before. But there's a filled in eyebrow. Let's do the other one. That's gonna be my other eyebrow done, I guess. How we looking so far? My eyebrows look atrocious. Okay, now that I got these real dark, dark eyebrows, real dark, real, real dark eyebrows, I guess we're gonna move on to eyeshadow. First off, I see people usually put some concealer under their eyebrows to make them more crisp. To like fix whatever you messed up. I don't think this is fixable. And this is actually supposed to like help prime with the eyes or something like that. So like your eyeshadow doesn't like stain your eyes or something. I don't know. Okay, so moving on to eyeshadow. I seriously look crazy. I like this eyebrow though. Like I can't even lie. Like this kind of kind of snatched. What inspired me to do this video as a whole was I bought. The James Charles X Morphe eyeshadow palette. So, guess what I'm gonna be using? The James Charles X Morphe eyeshadow palette. So if after watching this video, anyone wants to come teach me how to actually do my makeup, I'd appreciate it. But it's got all of these super cute colors and I don't know why, but the words are on this paper. So I can try to tell you what color I'm using. But it's gonna be hard and I have to go back and forth. Cool. Let's just be inspired by my shirt today. MTV shirt. And let's, we're gonna use some of, I guess this pinkish color called Skip. And probably some of this blue right here. And it, that one is hello. Oh yeah, probably like that shimmery purple 
that's called artistry. We're gonna use those three colors. We're gonna try to use three colors on my eye, eye, eyelids, eyelids. So, I think you're supposed to use smaller brushes for this. I can't even read what kind of brush this is. It's called Bean something. Bean Gachis. Illuminator brush. So, I'll show you that. Okay, and we're gonna go right into the pink. Okay, we're just gonna put this on my eye. I'm so scared. <laughs> Okay, let's do this. Okay, so I have really small eyelids. So I'm not gonna like take it all the way up here. I'm just gonna kind of leave it so you can see it when I have my eyes open. Oh, you can't see it when I open my eyes. <laughs> okay, so wait, stop. Eyebrows stop twitching. Okay. We might have to go up a little higher. I'm gonna go into that purple. This is a Schmiss Sh Glam brush. It has little jewels on it and it's purple and blue. That's why I chose it to do the purple. <gasps> and it says eyeshadow brush. Oh my God, look, it says eyeshadow brush. N15, shout out to you for telling me that this is an actual eyeshadow brush. So we're gonna take this one and go into the purple. There's that. Yeah, we're looking. We're looking. Some way. We're just gonna make this part darker by going back in. I'm a little palette. Okay, so we've got this real solid <clears throat> purple and pink thing going on. And then we're gonna do the same to the other side. We're going to get another eyeshadow brush and a really small one, I hope, that I have one left. Okay, here's one. This says small shader by Lux 240. Oh, Luxie? Let's see. Let's pull it out first. Luxie 245 small shader brush. And we're going to dip into that. Sorry about my chair, y'all. What is it called? Hello. Color Hello. It's so pretty. Go right here. Alright, so I just see people do that little pop of color on the inside because I don't know why. Because they don't want to be done, I guess, and they just want to keep going. So we got eyeshadow. I look crazy. Alright, so. Next, I guess would be highlighter. And I'm actually going to use the color Face from James Charles palette because he always uses it as a highlighter. So why not? I'm gonna use this Moda Pro, RL Moda Pro brush. Precision Angle, BMX 465 Precision Angle brush. Looks like this, it's got like this funky handle. There's literally like a straight streak down my face where my highlight is. I don't know if you're like supposed to like, how do I like blend that a little bit? I don't really know. I don't want it to just be like, highlight, highlight. <laughs> kind of want it to be like, oh, she's glowing, not 
not, oh, she clearly put a highlight right at the top of her cheek. He puts some right here on his nose when he does it. And then, oh my god, I forgot to do like the bronzer. And then like a thin line right here. To make your nose look more snatched. And I'm looking crazier and crazier. Okay, so we got highlight. Hope y'all can see that. This natural lighting, I'm in front of the window. Okay, so after highlight and eyeshadow and eyebrows, are we almost done? Oh, you have to bake. Naked Cosmetics Translucent Baking Powder. No HD Finishing Powder. Oh my god, because we're finished. It's the end. I'd be like, me just try to jump the whole thing out. And then, I know you're supposed to like wash your beauty blender, I'm sure, by this point. I'm just going to go right in with it. And put it under here. Oh, oh my god, I completely forgot like eyeliner and mascara and stuff. I found one of these, so we've got the C-R-A-T-E London, Ciat, Ciate, London, Fierce Flicks. Okay, so let's try the gel, because this is like not drawing on top of all of that shadow that I have on. Elf that my friend bought me. And she bought me this e.l.f. small angled brush as well. It's something. Not perfect, but it's, it's something. Now it's time for mascara. I have a lot of those over here from my mom's thing. So let's use the X-rated Smashbox. I don't use false lashes. I'm too. I was gonna get some for this video, but I was too scared. Ew! Up close, my case. My uh, <laughs> up close, my face looks so caked. This is not for me. And then we have my favorite, the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I love this stuff. This also came from a trial size thing and I'm pretty sure it's like almost out. <laughs> and this still looks like something. Oh, I should wipe off this bake. Hasn't even been on for a long time, but like I said, we are not wearing this all day. So I'm gonna use this big fluffy Farrah 50F brush to wipe off this this is like the prettiest brush. Okay, so our highlight is still highlighting. And our eyeshadow is shadowing. And our eyebrows are dark. Finally, it's time for lipstick. And I don't have any nude lipstick. So, this is going to look awfully funny. I literally don't own any light lipstick. Like they're all like dark purple and dark red. Um, so here's what I have to choose from. These. They're all like the same color, almost. Like pretty close, except for this one. So I'm gonna decide to use this as the liner and then this. This is not by any means a liner whatsoever, but we're already messed up, so why not well? I look so horrible. Who got let me get this makeup? I'm just gonna use this purple. Oh my god, it's so much darker. Okay, well, I guess this is the finished look. I hope you enjoy this. 
highlighted colorful moment and better give this video a thumbs up because this was literally terrible <laughs> look at this y'all I can still see like the powder and stuff on my face. This is hilarious. Please somebody come to my house and teach me how to do makeup. Okay, thanks. All right, bye guys, that's enough. Go ahead and make fun of me on Instagram or something.